Cannabis sativa is an herbaceous flowering species indigenous to Eastern Asia, with records of scientific and recreational use that are over 45 centuries old. Different strains of cannabis are cultivated, which vary by their cannabinoid content. One of the strains, called marijuana, contains a high content of the cannabinoid delta-9 tetrahydrocannabinol, or THC. Another strain that is cultivated for industrial use, called industrial hemp, contains only a small amount of THC. It is worth noting that hemp has many other biochemical compounds of interest, and particularly hundreds of other cannabinoids. Most of these remain unexplored scientifically. The most abundant and well-researched non-psychotropic phytocannabinoid is known as cannabidol, or CBD. Let us now explore how the human body's endocannabinoid system works. Cannabinoids are also endogenously produced in the human body and are called endocannabinoids. The endocannabinoids are part of a widespread neuromodulatory system that plays important biological roles called the endocannabinoid system. The other components of the endocannabinoid system include different receptors and enzymes that are involved in controlling the synthesis and degradation of endocannabinoids. CB1 and CB2 cannabinoid receptors are expressed throughout the human body. CB1 receptors are expressed abundantly in the brain of vertebrates, and THC's ability to attach to CB1 receptors explains many of its psychotropic and euphoriant effects. The cannabinoid receptor subtype CB2 occurs predominantly in the immune system and gastrointestinal tract. CB2 activation inhibits inflammatory cytokine production, thereby having immunomodulatory effects. What exactly is the mechanism of action of cannabidiol? CBD may appear structurally like another phytocannabinoid, THC, at first glance except for the broken ring, which enables CBD to bend in three dimensions while THC remains flat. This difference explains why CBD lacks euphoriant or psychotropic properties, because it cannot bind to a site the way THC binds. Cannabidiol, or CBD, increases levels of the endocannabinoid anandamide by inhibiting its reuptake and degradation. By modulating the enzyme fatty acid amide hydrolase, or FAAH. As a result, more anandamide is available to activate presynaptic cannabinoid receptors, thereby exerting, for example, immunomodulating effects through the CB2 receptors. CBD has many targets apart from the endocannabinoid system. CBD facilitates neurotransmission mediated by 5-HT1A receptor a subtype of serotonin receptor. Serotonin receptors are also known to play a role in mood regulation and balance of the nervous system. Other molecular targets of CBD include PPAR gamma, GPR55, a G-protein coupled receptor and adenosine. Because of its multimodal mechanism of action, CBD may have several properties that have been scientifically explored. Cannabidiol has shown promising results when used topically. Effective topical ointments result in minimal systemic uptake, thereby systemic side effects. Preclinical data of topical CBD confirms absorption through the skin, as well as a reservoir effect in the skin. Regulation of inflammatory processes and reduced pain-related behaviors were demonstrated in animal models. The trial by Niteka Bukta et al. in human patients demonstrated that topical CBD is effective for pain relief in myofascial pain. A significant reduction of 70.2% in pain intensity was observed in the experimental group, compared with only 9.81% pain relief in the placebo group. The trial by Xu et al. showed that topical CBD significantly reduced intense pain, sharp pain, cold sensation and itchy sensation in patients with symptomatic peripheral neuropathy. Increasing scientific interest in topical use of this novel substance will enrich our knowledge in the future.